Well, we've got some breaking news tonight. The Houston Texans, fresh off a season where they are the second worst team in the NFL, have decided that they will fire Lovey Smith. That is for everybody who you would think would be first with the story. It's not that surprising because I think the Texans believed that they were going to be a lot better than they actually were this past season. I don't know what Lovey Smith really could have done with the talent on this roster. And I don't know if the Texans winning this last game and playing their way out of having the number one overall pick in the draft was a factor when it came to moving on from Lovey Smith. What I do know is that now the Texans go back to back years firing a head coach after just one season. Maybe Cal McNair, the Texans ownership group, thinks that this fan base likes to see heads on spikes. But what has this accomplished as far as making this job an attractive one? It doesn't. Back-to-back head coaches with one year and not a lot of talent on the roster, gone. Not to mention back-to-back African-American head coaches, gone after just one year. So not only are the Texans going to get dragged for this over the next 24 hours, whether they were justified in moving on from Lovey Smith or not, that's going to be a conversational piece. And now you got to wonder, for the next head coach, if he comes in, and if Nick Casario is still here, which we heard from Jake Laser, that's a possibility, he might be gone too. If they come here, I mean, what what is there to get excited about? There's some young pieces, there's some draft picks, and Maybe some candidate out there likes both of the top quarterback prospects, Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, and would be happy with either of them should they come in. But it's just hard to imagine anyone of consequence taking this job on because they know how little security it has and how little talent the roster has.